In this video, we're going to show you how to pay the owner and send an owner's statement on the property worksheet. We have property 123 Main Street, tenant Jessica. She paid 800 for December's rent. There's a property management fee expense of $80. And at the very bottom, we have an owner named Joe. If I click on the white arrow next to his name, we can see the current balance and a list of his properties. You can click on the blue links to see the details. To see how the current balance was calculated, simply hover your mouse on the question mark right next to the balance, and we can see the breakdown. So the beginning balance is zero, total income is 1,800, total expenses are 130, zero owner draws, zero owner contributions, and the ending balance is 1,670. So the total income minus total expenses equals the current monthly balance. Let's say I want to pay Joe and send him an owner's statement. Simply follow the three steps here. One thing to point out is that the numbers change color. The soft orange color means that a task still needs to be completed. Once it's completed, it changes to green. So the goal here is to make sure all of the numbers are green. The first step is to record the owner draw. It's giving me a suggested amount of 1470 because I'm holding 200 as a reserve for unexpected maintenance or repairs. Let's say I want to pay Joe this amount. I'll click on record owner draw. And we can see the income and expenses at the top. We can see the current balance minus the reserve I'm holding equals the suggested amount. The payment date will default to today's date and it will autofill the suggested amount here. To the far right, if I click on the plus sign, I can add notes and I'm going to print a physical check to pay the owner. So I'll click save and now I'll click on record owner draw and the system will load the page back to the property worksheet. And now we can see step one has turned green because we have completed this step. Step two is to actually print the check. If you are paying the owner online, it will say make online payments. So I'll click on print check and it will take us to the print checks page. If you're paying the owner online, it will take you to the make online payments page. We can see all the details here. We can see the payment date, pay amount, you can write in a check memo. I'll click on print check. And the system will generate a PDF to print the check. Just like this. The system will load back to the property worksheet. And now we can see that we have processed the payment and there are no payments to be processed. And last is to go to step three, which is to send the owner report. So I'll click on Generate Owner Report. By clicking on Message Text, you can customize the message. You can create your own templates. You can CC yourself on the owner statement. You can select the time period. It's always going to default to the current month. And now we can see the owner balance here. And you can also preview this by clicking on Preview. I'll go ahead and I'll print this. So I'll click on Print Report. Okay, and this is what it looks like. And again, it will take us back to the property worksheet. And now we can see that I printed the report on this day. So we can see that all the numbers are green, meaning we've completed everything. We first recorded the payment, then printed the check, and last printed the report. 